Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with pdq.com, back with another Patch Tuesday. And if you're watching this today, it's eight days before summer. No one wants to start the summer vacation worried about, you know, exploits out in the open or things you have to be concerned about. So let's talk about uh, what needs to be patched and why. Overall for the month, it's been pretty mild. 74 total exploits, although I've seen 69, I think because five of them have been updated from previous exploits. And five critical patches or six, depending on who you read on an exchange one that we'll cover a bit later. Which means not real bad, but not real clear, clear either. The big thing is there's not a single already known or already exploited patch that's being closed this time. That's pretty cool. Normally, you know, hackers are just coasting on information that's already out there. Now they got to be creative. So you're getting into way, uh, system ways you never even thought of. That's pretty cool. But overall, uh, we're going to cover some of the uh, the lowlights. This first 9.8 is an elevation of privilege, which is kind of cool because normally you get a 9.8, you're expecting a remote code execution, but not this time. So this one is for your SharePoint server. It has a low complexity, no privileges required, and no user interaction needed. That's all bad. That's all bad. And what this is is a user is able to spoof a JSON web token uh, for authentication, and with that, they're able to get up to full administrative rights within SharePoint, and from there, they can do quite a lot of damage. Uh, I'm not sure how to spoof a JSON web token, but I imagine people trying to get in your system, they are sure. So I, I would patch SharePoint. Uh, this next one is we're back to uh, Pragmatic General Multicast, PGM. This is, I think, two months, two months in a row for a technology that's not widely used. It feels like there was a successful one found, and so people were, you know, picking at that one, seeing what they can find, and a new critical exploit was found. This is very similar to last month, where it is a network attack vector, low complexity, no privileges, and no user interaction required. Uh, there are some mitigating factors. Uh, if you have the message queuing or TCP port 1801 on, then you're probably already secure. I'd still patch because safety first. But other than that, this just allows a person to send a corrupted file that can execute some arbitrary code that puts you some risk. All right, this next one is a critical, and it's a 7.8, which is kind of a unique combination. And it is a remote code execution, or they say remote code, but it's it's more of an ace, uh, what a, like an arbitrary code execution, which means that it has to be run locally, but doesn't mean that the person ne necessarily has to be local for this one. Uh, that's just a long-winded way of saying, if a user clicks a bad link, you're in some trouble. So if you trust your training on security with all your users, you don't need to worry about a thing. But if you feel like a couple of your users may click on a suspicious link, well, then you might want to start patching. So this one is local attack vector uh, with no privileges required, but it does require user interaction. That's where the social engineering part comes in. That's where this is as vulnerable as your user base is. And we all know that Every one of them is perfectly trained and there's no concerns. Uh, with this one, they're just able to execute, uh, I believe, as system. And you can do some pretty serious stuff with system. So that's definitely one uh, patch. Patch soon. Last one, I know I cover three. I'm covering four this one because this is a fun contested one. And this one is for Microsoft Exchange. And it is listed as an 8.8, .8, but the severity is only important instead of critical. And I'm not sure why the attack vectors network, uh, low complexity, low privileges, and no user interaction, all that sounds like a 9.8 to me. But for some reason, this one is listed as an 8.8. .8. I know other people have put it as higher. I'm just trusting what Microsoft says on this one, but I just figured I'd mention this because even though only listed as important, it's still definitely, if you're using on-prem exchange, take a good look at that. All right, and that's... That's everything for this month. Uh, go go get your slip and slide set up. Uh, maybe maybe automate this with uh, deploying inventory so you can spend more time on the slip and slide, less time in the office. But that's everything you need to be safe for the month of June uh, for PDQ on Jordan.